Did you know that the leading cause of accidental death in the U.S. is caused by drug overdose? Well, it's true, but addiction specialist Rob Kelly has made it his mission to help those recover their lives from this disease of addiction. Dr. Rob Kelly is a world-renowned, credentialed addiction consultant who for the past 20 years has helped over 5,000 addicts and alcoholics recover their lives. Listen, you got three DUIs, you lost your job, your wife is leaving you, I know exactly what you're going through. You are an alcoholic, my friend. A recovered alcoholic himself, Rob uses unconventional methods to empower his clients to fight their addiction head on. What I care about is trying to get you well, but don't waste my time. Deal? Rob is a triple threat against the disease, making permanent recoveries his life's mission and purpose. Please welcome Rob Kelly to the show. Welcome. I, I'm impressed. You, ha you have a bigger scrub collection than I have, I, have a, I have a bigger scrub collection, and I also have a bigger sneaker collection. Really? I, I confess. I confess to a lot of jealousy when you walked out here, Rob. But your clothing, I think, represents kind of a unique approach that you take to helping people with addiction. It does. You know, it's a very, very serious uh, disease, a very serious topic. And, you know, the more I got into it, the more I realized that we've got to have some fun doing this. So I wear crazy color scrubs, and I have a, a pair of sneakers for every hour of the day. No, just every day, I'm joking. <laughs> so I'm trying to bring the lightness side of it because, you know, I've I suffered from alcoholism for many, many years, lost a lot of things, end up homeless, you know, crazy things. and. I have to tell you this because this was my aha moment. This is when I realized that for the rest of my life, I am going to educate people, treat people to fully recover from their disease. So not only am I guaranteeing you, by the way, I'm going to give you your money back if you don't. Gasp. No, nope. yeah. Well, this is my aha moment because this changed my life. I'm homeless, believe it or not. Million dollars to, ho million dollar house to homeless. How does that happen? Addiction and alcoholism. I'm on the streets. I've been there for nine months. It's six o'clock in the morning. I'm sweating, it's six below in Manchester in England. I'm sweating, I'm, I'm getting the DTs, I'm, I'm shaking like crazy and I walked into the liquor store and I put my 10 pounds or $10 onto the counter and I asked the guy for the bottle of vodka and he put the bottle of vodka down and this was my reaction. Oh. And it was then I realized, it's not the alcohol. It's not the alcohol. The alcohol is the symptom to this disease. What I have is this mental obsession, which will tell me every single time, while I'm drinking my first glass, where's my second one coming from? Where's my third one coming from? Well, it'll be different this time. Well, this, I won't drink as well. What I'll do is I'll drink wine instead of liquor. That's what I have, and it was that moment that I realized that for the rest of my life, this is a serious deal. I mean, if I was to ask the audience now, do they know somebody who suffers from alcoholism or addiction? And almost everybody will put their hand up. And my reply to you, if you don't, is it's probably you. I'm glad that you're yeah. raising awareness yes. and acknowledging that it, it doesn't really um, anyone. distinguish between individuals. It can hit any of us. And that also is true for the record, the topic I want you to discuss with us, of harder drugs like heroin. One mayor in New York is proposing a plan to address our country's heroin epidemic and this one is stirring up controversy. 28-year-old Ithaca Mayor Savante Myrick is proposing his town offer what no other city in the U.S. has ever approved before, a supervised injection facility where heroin users can shoot up without getting arrested. In addition to providing clean syringes and treatment programs for addicts, the facility would be staffed by healthcare providers capable of administering an antidote if and when a user overdoses. And while successful injection sites do exist in Canada, Europe, and Australia, Myrick is fighting an uphill battle, searching for an alternative to simply jailing addicts. So Rob, question about this. Mm. There's, a, there's a concept in addiction medicine called harm reduction, mm. which I'm sure you're familiar with. It's, it's about if you're gonna do something, we know you're gonna do it, let's make it as safe as possible. Yes. Versus abstinence, don't do it at all. Well, this seems to be more along the harm reduction concept, but what are your thoughts Definitely. on it? Definitely. Let's look at it from two, two sides here. First of all, the normal person will stand by and say, that is disgusting. How can we condone the use of heroin for so illegal? Yeah. yeah, exactly. You can't, we can't do it. But let's look at this. Heroin is an epidemic, guys. Epidemic. 
So what we do is I understand that we bring these guys in, we supervise them, and while we supervise them, we're educating them and their families because believe it or not, and this is a great statistic that we've done over the past 20 years, is I would say, my opinion, 90 to 95% of heroin, hard heroin users don't want to use. I know that I, when I was drinking and taking drugs, I didn't want to do it. You see, the normal person takes drugs and alcohol to feel better. I was taking it to survive. If I didn't have it, my body would go into shock. Those guys who don't want help, they're going to stay on the streets. Well, Those guys with a little tiny bit, and we only need 1% of willingness to get better, are going to go to these facilities. Once they go to these facilities, we've got a good chance of saving a life. So I'm, I'm in favor of this. I think it's a great idea. We just need to get that shooting up in the waiting room out of our head because we are losing the fight on addiction. And we need to do something about it, guys, because it's killing people on a daily basis.